Hey everybody, it's Spiky Day, it's Spiky Day Models. Okay, for this gorgeous Wednesday, I have for you video number four for Civil War Sunday. United States frigate, steam frigate, USS Susquehanna over here. I'm all over the map, guys, on these ships. Lila Dan is ready to be rigged. North Slug is ready to be rigged. Now I'm rigging this right here. And I got the Miracle Smoochie all over here next to me, over here, uh, preparing to finish up the sun like that and get that thing ready to go for the standing rigging on it. Okay. I started on this thing last night. I said, what the hell, you know, if I need to finish up the Susquehanna, I went up there in the storage. And, uh, looking around for something. And I said, oh my God, I, I forgot all about this. And so I brought this out along with the, the Marigold Vespucci. Thai Navy training ship. And this uh, Civil War blockade runner uh, frigate. USS Susquehanna. Okay, a lot has got, a lot has been done this thing, guys, since the last video. Uh, I look, I research my videos on here, see how many videos I got in the past. I only have about three videos on this, and uh, so this is video number four. I have the camera over here. We'll take a live. Uh, I'll swing around and we'll take live pictures of it and everything to go along with the uh, the camera. Okay. Right now I'm on the stand. I'm the running rigging now. The standing rigging is all done. I've got the shrouds on everything, as you can tell. I think Bruce Bruce Cure, Bruce Care Cure. Excuse me, Bruce. I'm sorry. The Mystic Modeler. I think he did one of these too. I got to I got to look up his video, see how he progressed on his. I don't know if he is or not, but if he did, it came out pretty good. So this right here is, uh, is the IMI monogram now, 1980 release of their version of their kit of the uh, Susquehanna. Okay, it ain't too much dope on this thing. I searched Wikipedia online. Most of the stuff I got on this thing is uh, on uh, on the history books that I had stashed in years during the Civil War. I got the Battle of Hampton Roads up here and had the the only live action thing on the Susquehanna that they had at the time was a 1954 movie by uh, Jules Verne, Three Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, and it showed the Susquehanna coming out right out of the harbor and, and the Nautilus took her out. And uh, that was the only one of that ship that was done at the time. This is a frigate of the Civil War of 1860s, 64, 65. Uh, she was known as a, as a frigate, a blockade ship. And a side, common side wheeler steamer for the day that they had. And well, they were a pretty ship, but they're in history. They had their own beauty, the sides, the, the, the beautiful sides, uh, side panel wheels that it had. And uh, so I've been on this thing last night. I've been working about five hours on it last night. I want to finish up uh, all the running rigging. I'm a formist, and uh, I got the boats all ready. I probably saw the boats. We're gonna have a live action on the boats. I'm just saying. So I got that. Do that. I wasn't gonna do a live action last night on the Darlila Dan, but I got too busy working on the the Miracle Vespucci last night, putting on the mass and stuff. It's just lost time. So there's always time guys like that. So right now on the bench, I get the Miracle Vespucci shaking. I got the Susquehanna shaking. I got the rigging ready to go on the on the Lula Dan. I got the standing rigging ready to go on the North Slough. I finished up all the railings on my uh, USS Saucy, the Matchbox Flower Class uh, Flower Class uh, 
Corvette that I had, the, the American version of it. I got I got all done. I had to finish up the rigging on there and the crew would be all ready to hit for sea trials. Okay. I got a camera over here, my, my camcorder I got. And we're taking some close up pictures and I can always talk through that. And we'll get right back to here. Okay guys, without further ado, we'll switch cameras. We'll take a, a little better pictures of this and go on my head. You don't see much there. Not much shaking. But all is about to change. I get my new place. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have cameras all over the place, so I can push a button here and have a close up there. And I'm gonna try to get my act together here, best I can, any way I can. Okay, nope, Kevin. Let's get back and take a look at the pictures of the uh, Susquehanna. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, switch cameras. We're gonna come over here gingerly, take a look at the pictures. Here's how much I had done this thing, and uh, get right back. Okay. Feel this camera right here as we take it with it. Make sure I got all the foot ropes on there. We got the sail lines on there. I got the guy chains, I gotta add them to the stacks on the other side. I gotta finish it up tonight too. So all the standing rigging is done on this thing. I am gonna go ahead and take a nice brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint and dry brush across here and kind of bring it age out the timbers a little bit. See the ring good now. And I can add my stays too on this. I just now get this rigging started here, guys. I got a lot to go in this thing. A lot to go. Yep, a lot to go in this thing. Yeah, the five rails secured with uh, five bed of the epoxy. They're pretty strong. I've got to trim off a little ends on those blocks up there. So I got a lot of time to get for the rigging I gotta do. Look at the American Poochies over there in board. Yep. It's really a nice model, guys. They did a good job on it. I'm doing more to this thing with the kit that's offered. The kit gives you no blocks at all. None. I surmise Orochila or Original Company, I my. I imagine they uh, didn't include the blocks in their kit either. On your blocks, you're on your own. I've got a lot of blocks. A lot of blocks. Many of them. So you gotta kind of dig deep inside your spare parts box, guys, and get uh, the blocks out and stuff like that that you need to 
do you rigging on this thing? The rigging on this thing is very, very elementary. It's all child's play. I mean that literally. And uh, I don't like child's play. A model this size should, should have some kind of detail to it with rigging. I got the scroll on the bow work all done. Those paddles should turn, as they do. These things are very hard, like all side steamers, they're very hard to uh, maneuver at sea. Because the sea is pretty rough out there. These things can take the ocean. But if you use something like this in a storm, forget it. All you do is just jogging. You're not doing nowhere. You're staying placed in one area only, just burning fuel. When the, when the fuel goes out, you'll founder. That's what happened to the Portland steamer of 1898. When Captain Hollis Blanchard encountered that horrible gale, he realized he made a very serious mistake. Like all good sailors, keep your bow to the wind and to the sea and ride up the storm. Well, that's exactly what he did. He knew he wasn't going to make it to port. And at that time, shit would start to happen. You know, like gales of wind got worse and worse and worse. I'd blown off superstructures off the ship and she finally found it and sunk. Yeah, Susquehanna is one of the type of ship that it's not often mo modeled that much. I haven't seen any on the uh, internet lately. I guess I'm the only one of the guy in the world that's got this thing. Internet wise. Yep. Okay, we're going to take the camera and swim right back to OFH right here. Old Frankie Day. Alrighty then. Hope you guys like those. Yeah, this is, nice. this is nice. This is a nice kit, you know. I enjoyed the hell out of building this thing. I think this is my second rodeo. I bought two. There's a place out in California called Odd Lots. Out here in Ohio and all Midwest states, they call it Big Lots. I remember one day, my first wife, Brenda, and I. She always likes to go to Odd Lots and buy stuff. I get well, of course everybody does. And. She, uh, knowing me, I went to the model section and I found this back here. Two of them. So I bought two of them. They're six bucks a shot. For Twelve dollars, got two of them. And at that time, this thing was going to run about fifty dollars. I didn't find that out about a year later when I found out this thing retailed about fifty bucks back then. That's one hell of a steal on this thing. So this is a monogram kit, not the one from J-Pan. Same old, same kit. Just save some money. That's the difference. Yep. On the American Vestucci, got all the boats over here. I got to start getting those boats uh, prepared. Tonight, we're going to go ahead and install the, uh, the boats on the uh, Susquehanna. Hopefully, I'll bring the old uh, American Vestucci. It's the first time I've had one of these. They're a very beautiful ship. Here's the Heller 1150. Paint schedule thing is option, optional. I've seen some with all black, with black hull and all white, you know. It's just, uh, just different times of, uh, different periods of time when the paint schedule kind of changed. What's going on at the time? This is nice. This, this is really a nice kit. Again, with these hella kits, you got to be very careful, especially with these masks. These masks are fragile. These things, you got nothing but time. So, I suggest very, very much you chase out these platforms on on, on uh, boxwood or some kind of uh, light plywood resort to make your own platforms. <laughs> And they use dowels up here for your the wooden uh, dowels for your your mast. You'll be hell but stronger. 
I suggest that very much on the HS Victory. So like I say, these uh, the masks, the plastic using these helicates are like that with resin. It don't take much for that stuff to, uh, to break. There we go. Yeah, they'll they'll snap like a twig. And what you got to do is when it do snap like that, you gotta take a pen vise. Okay, so suppose that's a yard. It broke just like that. Oh shit. Gluing on ain't gonna work. Especially what you do is that you take the take take the smallest drill you got and drill a hole right in the middle of that yard. Make sure you don't split that yard. Just stick a stick a brass rod in there. Do the same thing where it broke off and plug in. That would be the strength. That's the only way of getting out of that. It can be done with a rigging attached to it too. That'll get you out of trouble right there. Okay. I gotta go to the store and get a few things. And uh, we're gonna have live action tonight. I'm gonna have, I'll put the boats on this thing. Before live action goes on, we're gonna finish up the, uh, the running rigging on the, on the mast here. Yeah, we should be all done. Okay, here's Frank the Day, Frank the Day model signing off. Stay posted for that tonight, got that going for you. Make mom happy, take care of the little ones. Stay focused when you drive, spend wisely. Be aware of your surroundings, do yourself a kit, barbecue. Just have a blast. It's made for a living. Enjoy yourself. Say your prayers, and God bless you all, and we'll see you tonight. Bye, boys. Take care.